Hello and welcome to PlayStation Racer. My name is Mitchell Morgan and today we are going back to the Americas for another of the World Circuit Challenges. We're working on Watkins Glen at the moment and we've got first on the first two races. We have since done the Super Formula. So now we just need to do the World Touring Car 800 to complete the list. Now, before we do that, I'm just going to double check that I'm on the normal setting. I have been doing a bit of grinding, so just wanted to make sure we are on normal. We'll go into the race, and the car that I have chosen is the um, Porsche 918 Spider. We have got racing soft tyres on, and we are pretty much full whack on everything else. So I've got um, output is 100, valor 0. Power strict is 100. I haven't done anything with transmission or nitrous. Um, supercharger, we don't have one, but I'm racing on the intake and exhaust. I've got my carbon brakes, uh, racing pads, uh, got a racing clutch and flywheel, and the weight reduction has been done. So that is my setup for this particular race. Uh, with regards to the cars, I could have gone for one of the G1 cars. That would have taken us right the way through on fuel. Uh, I would have probably gone with the Supra if uh, it was a car that was more readily available, but it doesn't come up very much. So that was the reason why I chose the 918 Spider. So let's get into the race and see how we can do at the World Touring Car 800 at Watkins Glen Long Course. And this is over 10 laps. So strategy will come into play. Let's get into the race. Okay, so I'm going to take this one round to fuel map five. I don't want to try and get to lap five in this particular car. Uh, it is a bit thirsty on the old fuel. And I am on racing soft tyres, so we're probably going to need to look after those a little bit. Just going to try and get through a little bit of this traffic. And hopefully that will give me an opportunity just to talk about the lap a little bit, as usual. Looking for the first of the break mark boards there. Down to fourth. Oh, I didn't want to slow down there for some reason. I think I was being pushed by the AI behind. Big old gaggle of cars here. Let's see if we can come around the left hand side. No, we're going to run out of room. Just and a third or slight nudge on that red car there. Just come down the inside of those. Get it slowed down from this corner. Sorry, not calling these out too much at the moment because, as you can probably imagine, there's an awful lot going on at the moment. Up into 12th by the end of the first lap. Oh, I left, shot my braking point there, was unsighted. You can see the brake board. This is a bit scrappy at the moment. I'm struggling to see my braking turning points as we try and get through this traffic. I'm going on the outside of that BMW. Hopefully that's done. Come up to start a new lap. Hopefully that should be most of the slower cars overtaken. Start concentrating and working through these other cars. All oh, doors gonna close on me. These two are squabbling. Go up the left hand side. Did we get that done? I'm on the grass. Just about got that done. Fourth gear through the chicane. Careful putting the accelerator down. Just feather it through here. Nissan in front of us. 200, just before the 200 meter board. Just get it down into third gear, get it turned in. Fourth place in front of us, we go down the left hand side. 300 meter board, down it's third. 
the Aston Martin in front of us now. This little twisty section you'd be careful of. Unsighted on the boards again. It's 300. Down into third. Just getting it turned in. First and second place cars in front of us. So that's not too bad. Up in the first and second by on lap two. And then up to finish that lap. See if we can just get past Beauvoir. Viper in front of us. And then we'll be able to uh, not exactly take it easier, but we might be able to actually run our own lap then. That's Viper done. Go up the hill. Fit the fifth. Just backing off slightly to keep it out of the wall. The fuel strategy seems to be fine, so I'm going to switch over to the radar just so I can see who's around. 600 meter board, just fourth gear through the chicane, just being very careful about getting the power down. And feather the pack throttle through here, just fourth gear. Looking for that uh, 200 meter board just a little bit before there, just getting it turned in third gear. All we've got to do is just build a gap to the cars behind now. 300, bury the brake pedal, third gear. Let it run around, just slowly introduce the accelerator. Stay over to the left here. 300 meter ball, bang the brake pedal. Down into third, watching for the apex, watching for the exit. 200 on that one. Just chose second just to get a little bit slowed down a little bit more and a bit more rotation. Oh, we should have stayed in second on that one. Come around to start a new lap. Fastest lap on a 145.7 at the moment. It's a 146. Let's not worry about the lap times, concentrate on the racing. Really wish we had a race engineer that could pull stuff out like that, you know. It'd be really nice addition to the game. Maybe one day. Okay, so we're looking for the 600 meter board. Bury the brake pedal. Fourth gear is quite nice through here. Just don't overshoot it. Careful how we get power down and come off of it. Just for this corner so you can run the curb. Just using this black part of the track. Just before the 200 meter board there, leave it in third for this one. Just following that around, watching for the exit. So you can see that exit point. Hit the throttle. 300 meter board down at third again. Just ride this curb through here. Waiting, waiting, waiting for the power. As soon as you can see the exit in the corner, go for it. Stay out to the left hand side. 300 meter board. Down into third, getting it turned in, using that curb again. Careful not to go too wide on the exit. 200 meter board, down into second for a bit of rotation on that one. Up to third as soon as you can see your exit and accelerate. 300 meter board on that one. It's probably a little bit early, but we're so far out in front now, we can back off and take it a little bit easy and just bring this one home. We could even do a bit of fuel saving now if we wish to, and that would probably make sense. So, fuel saving just uh, changing up a little bit early. Bit of lifting and coasting if you can. We've got a few of them pitting already. Well, I say already. I think we're going to be pitting soon as well. Just slightly overshot my braking point there. Got 
got about a quarter of a tank of fuel left. We're not doing too badly. The more fuel that we can save now, the less time we're going to need to be stationary in the pits, which will help. We managed to get through the traffic quite nicely earlier on, which has helped too. But this has all fallen quite nicely to us so far. 300. Just getting slowed down, getting it turned in. Oh, I've gone a bit wide on that one. I've gone very wide on that one. You often find when I'm out in front and I start to slow up a little bit, that's when I make my mistakes. Concentrations level drop. Obviously, the muscle memory changes because you, you're entering corners at a different pace, etc. So, I think we could probably have gone for a um, slightly higher fuel map. I think we chose five. Let's just see if we can get over to it. We chose five. I think four would actually be fine. And if you're trying to do this on hard settings, then I think five, uh, sorry, four would probably be the option that you would want to do. Just to give you a bit more power. I'm just going to leave it on five for the moment. This is working on normal settings. We've got, uh, oh, too late, too long. Look too deep there, I was looking at the fuel situation, one lap of fuel to go, one lap six at the moment of ten, 28 seconds ahead of the second place person, I wonder if that will be enough to get in and out ahead of them, would be quite nice if we could. Okay, so where is that pit? I think we're going to need to pit this time. Also see that the tyres are completely shot at this point. Now oh, it's starting to slide around a little bit, which means I've had to adjust braking on the gear slightly. Yellow line for the pit. Just follow that around. We'll take a, another set of softs and we'll let the fuel run slightly long. We've got a 30 second margin to the car behind, so we'll put a little bit more fuel in than we need. Yeah, I'll probably do it. Just see if we can get out in front of the other cars. Fresh rubber. Should have a bit of an advantage. They're just coming down straight now. I think we might actually come out behind them. Although it looks like one or two of them are pitting. Ah, oh, I've got a I've got a penalty. Now did I was letting the auto drive drive me out, but I did notice that I actually cut the line on the way in. So have I got the three second penalty for cutting the pit line on the way in? I think that might well be it. So uh, you might want to just watch the pits in and make sure that you stay within that yellow line, unlike how I just did it. So you're watching this video before you run. Maybe that is something just to keep an eye on. And annoyingly, we have only got three seconds to the car behind. So we're going to lose all of that in the penalty, plus obviously our speed is going to be compromised into the next corner. Just come down to second gear. Have we done enough to stay away from that car? Not quite sure. Let's just negotiate these corners to see how what the distance is. So. It actually looks to me as if that car may well have had a problem because either I did a lot better out of the pits, but they are two seconds behind us at the moment. 
and I was expecting him to be right with me. So for the moment then, the fact that we are out in front, just a few laps to go, I'm just going to keep this nice and easy. Uh, we've got four laps of fuel in the tank. Three laps to do, including this one. So that means we're flying on fuel. But I'm going to leave the fuel map on five. It's working quite nicely for me. Looks like a few more people are pitting. Let's just negotiate the bus stop. And then we'll have a look and see how we're doing with regards to these pits. There seems to be a lot of pitting going on right now. Looks like the strategy is working out for us at the moment. Down into third, breaking a little bit earlier than the 200 meter board for that one. So about the 250. 300 on this one, down at third. Let's get it turned in. Accelerate as you exit the corner. Just have to wait and wait and wait. 300 on that one. Down into third turned in, but too wide, so much nicer with new tyres on, 200 metre board on that one, same with the accelerator, just wait, 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 about 250 on that one, third gear, again I'm not using all of the racetrack, I'm just bringing this one home right now, 30 seconds ahead, of the car behind. Two laps to run. I will remind you that we're on the normal settings, but I think with this sort of margin over the car behind, I think even hard would be doable the way that we're going. Those of you that are running on hard settings, it'll be interesting to see how this setup works for you. But as I've said, some of my subscribers asked me to do this on normal, which is a setting that quite a lot of people that are new to the game use. So they've asked me to do these races on normal so as they can uh, duplicate what I'm doing help them to get these gold trophies which is what this channel is all about there we are doing this on normal hopefully showing you how easy these challenges are and I should remind you that I am a uh, average racer at best I'm not an A or an A plus racer as you see when we go online probably a C rated racer quite average. I tend to find my own gears and own lines in a lot of these races. When I watch the A star, the A rated drivers, and then I try and run their lines, their gears, that's why I tend to start making too many mistakes and I find it too difficult. One day, but not at the moment. Just feathering a little bit through there. Just a slight lift over the top. Keep it out of the fence. We've got the Porsche in front of us getting waved. Blue flags. Looking for that 600 meter board. Bury the brake pedal down at four. Just chose third there just to just slow me down a little bit on braking. Porsche's in the way. Just to give him some room. Now we can uh, come underneath him and come through. 45 seconds to the second place car now. And I'm not really pushing very hard at all. This is just a great car and a nice strategy for around here. People still pitting. 
pieces to find all that. Oh, a bit wide there. Quick look at the tyres, I felt the car sliding a little bit and their track limit penalty. So, um, yeah, sliding a little bit now, but uh, looking at those tyres, you can see they're about half worn. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about the fuel. <laughs> Just bring this one home now. So sliding around a little bit towards the end of the race there, as the tyres started to wear. But no real dramas. Uh, that uh, Porsche is a really, really nice car for this. That setup is perfect. Uh, we've come in with a 44.7 lead over the Supra behind, 47 ahead of the Viper. So a quite comfortable win. Pick up our nice gold trophy, another one for the collection, 200 credits. But that's the important thing is we've got gold. No clean race bonus, unfortunately, in this particular instance. But there we go. Okay, so I hope that you have found this video useful uh, or enjoyable. If you have, then please hit the like button because it really does help the channel. If you are new around here, please hit the subscribe button because that also really, really helps the channel as well. And I'm trying to build my subscriber count. So I'm trying to hit 1,000 before my birthday in July. Uh, it'd be nice to get there if we can. Uh, in the meantime, if you're already a subscriber, thank you ever so much for continuing to support my channel. It is very, very, very much appreciated. Uh, but for now, that is how I do that particular race in the Porsche. A uh, little bit of fuel management, the uh, power setting, which was quite nice for this particular race, took it easy and just brought that home with a nice comfortable margin. So thank you very much for watching, see you again very soon, take care, bye bye.